Hi, I'm Chris from OneSite Solutions, and in this video we will go through the process of connecting a JACE to an NTP service. NTP, or Network Time Protocol, is a protocol for clock synchronization of computers, servers, and other capable devices that reside on an IP network. This can be provided by a free online NTP service, or a client's own NTP server that may be sitting on a closed network. Typically, it is to be found on a closed BEMS network and uses a GPS service to synchronize with GPS clock data. The process of adding an NTP service to a JACE in Niagara is simple and does not require any additional services to be added to the station. However, you will need to reboot the JACE once completed, so bear the application of the JACE in mind before committing any restarts. You will also want to check that any Niagara supervisors with internet access are set up to use NTP. Uh, this is to ensure synchronization across devices. Uh, for this demo, we're going to use a free NTP service uh, provided by pool.ntp.org. Um, there are many other free NTP services available. Um, if you just Google NTP servers, you will find um, a list of NTPs that are free to your disposal. So before we begin, we will need to check a few things that are set up within our platform. Uh, so if you navigate to the platform of the JACE you wish to add the NTP service to and open her up. Worth noting before I started, I have already offset the time of the JACE um, by a couple of hours. So this will um, help prove that the NTP is working um, once we've set it up. Um, which we can monitor through the daemon output when the JACE restarts. Just a note before you start, if your JACE goes off the local network, such as onto the internet, uh, which we are in this case, you will need to ensure that you have a default gateway and DNS server set. So under config, services, at the bottom of services we have our platform services. If you expand that and open up the NTP platform service QNX, this is where we will input that NTP information. Um, so to start, we're going to want to enable the service. Click true. Um, we will want to sync local clock to NTP also. Set true and sync time at boot. Uh, we will set to true. Uh, to add the NTP service to the uh, service editor you want to just click the plus button there and that gives us the option to input that information uh, for the address if you're using a ntp server on your network you will want to add the ip address of that server here um, for this example we're going to use a um, free online ntp uh, we're going to use pool.ntp.org by copying this address and pasting that into the address of our time server. That address there will uh, select the most suitable NTP to use um, based on our location. Um, whereas some services you will have to select the server that is uh, closest to you. Um, but for this instance, that is done for us. Peer mode, set to server. Burst, uh, we'll leave it false. And preferred, we will set to true. Um, you have the option to have more than one NTP uh, server in your JACE. Um, for this instance, we're just having the one, but if you had several, then you would want to select which server is your preferred server. Uh, now that's all complete, we will click Save, and the JACE is now going to want to uh, do a reboot. So this will take some time to come back online, um, but we will have to go through this process regardless. Click Yes, and that will now go through and uh, restart. So now that our station is up and running, we can see within the daemon output that the time has synchronized to uh, the NTP. Um, we can also view the NTP status by navigating back to the station under config services, platform services, uh, the NTP platform service QNX module, if you right click over that, navigate to views and spy local, uh, that gives you information um, on the NTP service status. 
Um, at this point, it's worth noting that the NTP service um, will quite often update in UTC and that any time zone offsets will need to be applied uh, in the time and date module under platform administration. Um, you will need to select the time zone that's relevant to your JACE location. Um, and that concludes the setup process of adding an NTP to a JACE. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe. Thank you.